Total contact crime in South Africa has increased by 4% from January to March this year, compared to the same period last year. Now, more than 164,000 contact crimes were reported for the fourth quarter of the 2022 and 2023 financial year. Now, police top bras presented the latest crime stats to Parliament's Portfolio Committee. And murder cases increased countrywide by 3.4% between January and March 2023, while just over 7,500 uh, murders were reported for October to December last year. Now, close to 6,300 cases were reported uh, from January to March this year. Mob justice and vigilantism, on the other hand, resulted in 588 murders from January to March this year. Now, compared to the same period last year, the number of reported cases decreased by by 300 to 10,500 10, cases, uh, while sexual assaults decreased by around 320 cases to 1,800 cases. The number of carjackings also declined by about 300 cases from 5,400 cases to 5,100 cases. Robbery at residential premises, on the other hand, inched up to 5,570 cases. All right, now, to help us better understand these numbers, we're now joined via Zoom by Professor Jakob Barkhais, and he, of course, is the head of the Department of Criminology and Criminal Justice at the University of Limpopo. Prof, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Well, the Minister, you know, says in the main, it is unmistakable you know that the crime stat figures released today prove that the decision to upscale visible policing is working across the country your reaction to the crime stats and what some of these numbers are saying okay so there is a classic book called inferno by dante alighieri um, when Dante reaches the gates of hell, he reads an inscription that says, Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. This is an inscription we need to put in front of these headquarters and the minister's office. Um, bragging about the, the current stats is literally illogical. Saying it's working is also not correct. Violent crime is increasing. It just keeps on increasing. Murder is up. Um, everything goes up. There's a small reduction in certain crimes which the minister wants to spin um, as something significant. Statistically, it's not. And those uh, stats that are showing an increase, they're trying, they're trying to spin as not so important, but it is statistically significant. For every stat, there is a person, a victim. Mm. And with that victim, in South Africa, there's at least four indirect victims that are touched by these crimes. Mm. And just talking about that, you know, just placing a person in front of these numbers. I mean, let's look at GBV as an example, rape in particular. You know, reported uh, rape cases have shown a decrease, you know, in this period, period that we are talking about that is being reported with six provinces reporting less rape cases. You know, but it does remain concerning that we're talking about 10,512 people who were raped in the first three months of this year. That is correct. Now, remember, we're talking here about reported rape cases. Mm -hmm. This is a victim that goes to the police and then hope beyond hope that the police capture this and investigates this case of sexual violence. Um, what we're seeing is a, a, in other crimes as well, people do not go to the police to to um, report crimes. Um, people only report crimes for insurance purposes these days because as the, the previous Afropter study showed, the trust in the police and the trust, the trust that the police will actually solve crimes in terms of South African thinking is extremely low. 
Uh, Prof, let's talk now about, you know, just some of the other numbers that we heard today. Let's talk, let's look at cash in transit heist. Now, this saw the biggest increase of 20.8% uh, compared to the same period last year. I also want you to touch on, in that same breath, if you can, carjackings that have subsequently decreased by 5.2%. Okay, so it's, it's actually logical if you look at it. Cash in transit... Uh, robberies um, will go up and uh, the more horrible the South African economy gets, uh, the more likely cash in transit robberies will happen. Hijacking will go up, uh, will go down. People don't have expendable income to drive around, to travel around. Petrol, as you know, is, is very expensive. So people will most likely just drive um, to work and back. People don't have uh, uh, so much loose money in their wallets to travel around and have fun. However, cash and transits will go up because people still need money and it will travel around. And the ho more horrible the economy gets, the more um, these vans will be targeted. Mm. Prof, thank you so much uh, for your time and your analysis this afternoon. Really do appre appreciate it. Uh, Professor Iako Barkes, and there, of course, he is the head of the Department of Criminology and uh, Criminal Justice at the University of Limpopo.